Okay, here we go. We have Crossy as red and Gypsy as white. Cross again down here immediately with the lings. Gypsy just kind of zoning them out. Ooh, takes an, uh, yeah, I think that was okay for Gypsy. Was not perfect, but I think it was fine. Put a lot of damage on some of those lings as long as the battle continues in a timely fashion. Ooh, good micro there. You know, a lot of this is about surface area uh, and trying to get the lings actually surrounding, but the probes screw everything up and make the Zealots two hit anything that a probe hit, so. It's a little bit tough. Good micro there by Gypsy, but he's already lost two probes. Ooh, that Zealot takes off. Pulls it back pretty well. Probe coming back. The probe is not fighting is a part of the problem. There you go. Pretty one-sided right there at the end. <laughs> Feeling the power of Protoss. Gypsy talking some smack. Oh, uh, that was... There was a bit of miss, micro. If he had targeted both these probes down quickly, he might have won this. But now it's impossible. Sixlings just can't. Yeah, and I think refilling all the health doesn't doesn't change it at all. Even if you run away for days. Yeah. And that's going to be that. Pretty one-sided. <laughs> All right, one to one. The Marine SCV versus Zealot one. Let's see if Gypsy can do it. Gypsy should crush this one. Uh, he's got the best SCV micro I've seen in any non Korean player. So let's see if he can do the block. Okay, good block on that side. Zealot's immediately on top of his Marines. And it looks like uh, the Zerg player should be able to beat him. <laughs> oh my god. Not even close. Not even close. All right, we'll see. Cross can out micro him now with the SCV Marine. You got to have the Marines closer together. This is a problem I've seen. People haven't actually forced the Marines into a clump. You need them really close together so that when you click them, they go exactly where you want. That's better. That's a lot better. When they're spread out like that, their movement is a lot harder to control. Uh, see, now this one's gone ahead. You need to tell it to go back with the other ones. These people don't get cheese enough on the ladder. They don't get. They don't get it. All right, there you go. All nice and clumped. SCV's in front. Yes, nice, nice. Mm. It's... Oh. This still has a stim left in it. Oh my God, he shot through. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Okay, now we have the double storm. Yeah, against the Ling Hydra. A cross coming over. Looks like he's just trying to get some snipes or maybe bait out storms that he can dodge. Already loses a Hydra. Seems pretty good for Gypsy so far. Yeah, I... I think he's, Gypsy's doing all right so far. Like, he lost a goon, but he's killed, like, several lings and a hydra. There you... Uh, that was that was a good snipe. It's a good dodge, too. That was a six storm, though. And there's another six storm. Okay, but still the Zerg wins. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> the taunting is real. All right, let's see from the other side. Can Gypsy do the same to Cross? Oh, there are two High Templars. Oh, the Zelts are just standing there eating shots. What the hell? The Lings come up and start hitting the goons, which is exactly what you want. Micro against the Zelts, a sick storm, but it doesn't matter. It does not matter. The beginning of the battle just went too poorly for Protoss. Crushed. Oh, that's hilarious. What am I even looking at? I could beat this with three units. Dude, this is going to be bad. He's in some serious fucking trouble. There is absolutely no way. If you just storm the mines, attack, move, and then storm the tanks twice, you win. That's it. That's all you have to do. Uses hallucination. Cute. The mines hit. Here we go. Storms. Storm one. Doesn't even use storm two. Yeah, that that isn't how to do that one, guys. Just FYI. I like the hallucination. I think hallucination is a little bit underused for these weird micro situations. All right, gypsy. Gypsy should be able to win this from the Terran side, I think. All right, lays some mines. Gotta spread those tanks. Spreads two together. Picks off a High Templar, but yeah, he eats a lot of damage on the, uh, on the, the vultures here. Okay, Gypsy just crushes. Not even close. Doesn't even lose a tank. Damn. Oh, Protoss can win that fight, my friend. Special. It is doable. All right. Well, that this was well done by by Cross. No commentary there. Just crushing. Um, yeah, it was a good size storm though. You just you have to get on top of the goons immediately. Oh my god! Never mind. He's just gonna fucking kill it. Okay. Don't think so. None of that. None of that. I actually, I thought that uh, he was going to kill him with the Lings there, honestly. But I guess the Lings all ran through the storm and took some damage. Because it takes goons four shots to kill a Ling. So this is like, they actually, you need the storm to do a lot. Okay, well that was the biggest miss I've ever seen. So Gypsy 100% wins that. Yeah, Gypsy's starting to run away with the score a little bit. Dude, did he even lose anything? <laughs> did you practice the map last seven days? Actually, I gave them the map seven days ago for the tournament. Chat better shut the fuck up if Gypsy loses because he's going to come in here and turn chat into a ghost town. Front facing baby chick. Front facing baby chick. Front facing baby chick. Thank you. I can see irradiate. Target lurk. You should actually finish off the... Uh, oh, that was real good actually at the end there. Yeah, well done. Well, this is them actually playing their real races with not the realest comp, but it, it, it's people use Hydra Lurker sometimes. But definitely a mess up there from Gypsy. You got to make sure, like, if you irradiate a Lurker and it comes right up to the front and burrows, you don't want it to get a spine off. You can just target it real quick and kill it. Okay, the nice spread here. Cross. Zoning out that science vessel. Good zoning. Look at this. Comes in, starts the engage with Hydra, runs forward with the lurkers. Oh no, that's not how you do it. Defense matrix better than that. Oof. Does it matter though? Oh, this is a close one. And you're on a time limit. Because he's going to get another irradiate. Oh my god. I think. 
I think Cross will actually win this. The Lurker's too low. Yeah, and the thing is, you, you just, you have to push forward as Gypsy. You can't. Yeah. Good effort. Good effort. Cross is able to take it. Yeah, defense matrix, if you can uh, get a defense matrix off when they run up that close, that can be good. It can be. All right. So this one is about pushing them to the wall, like I mentioned before. This looks like a better setup for Gypsy, but it will come down to micro. Okay. Yeah, so he's got plenty of room here to micro back, so the Marines are having a hard time. Okay, he pushes him forward. That's a better move, but he already lost too many of the Marines, so he's not going to be able to break him now. All right, Gypsy gets him. See if Cross can do the same. He really needs to start coming back a little bit here. He needs to win a couple rounds in a row. Good micro. See, Gypsy's kind of getting him back to the wall. That's important. The heal up is the heal up time is much better for Terran here than it is for Protoss. You want to make sure you're very active with your goons. Looks like they're both microing pretty well. Ooh, yeah. Ugh. Okay, he gets him down to four. Four is still one shot, though, if you target. Once you get him down to three, it becomes really, really easy. Oh, he gets one more, though, before he does. Yeah, he can just out-DPS this. Okay. Five or uh, eight to six. Still need Cross to win two in a row somewhere here. Only has a couple of more tries for that. Reaver's coming forward here for Gypsy. Again, we haven't seen anyone in the tournament so far win the Protoss side of this. Let's see how his Reaver shots connect. Okay, that first one pretty good on this side. Pretty good there. Oh no. Oh no. It's going wrong. Yeah. Oh, that last Scarab does very well. What's the health on these Hydras? If he targets right, he'll win this. Oh my god. Gypsy is the first one to win this side. Got one more. <laughs> Oops. Obviously would have made a little bit of a difference, but... All right, there we go. Cross can do the same with these Reavers. We're getting pretty far ahead for Gypsy right now, and this one is, it seems to be a bit Zerg favored. Ooh, that was an excellent first shot from the top Reaver here. Does target that down. Yeah, just a bit too much damage. Good engage there from Gypsy. Does look like he'll be able to take it. Some very red Hydras. Wait a second. Wait a second here. Ooh. <laughs> Are we going to have Protoss win it both sides now? How funny is that? Yeah, there's no real way for Gypsy left here now. Well done. All right, so Protoss wins both sides for these two playing. That's kind of funny. All right. How do they engage this time? Yeah, he's trying to just get his interceptors out right now, but he's put some damage onto his Corsairs, of course. It's an old trick. Okay, get some of the Scourge. This is a good move. This is good stuff. 
Ooh, I think Gypsy has some very good ideas here. The Scourge are going to end up doing very little. They've hit some of the interceptors and everything. Okay, now the Corsairs. Let's see if they can kill off these Mutas. Look at this. He brings them in in an arc, so the Acid Spores won't hit as much. He's splitting them now against Acid Spores. And Gypsy starts to crush through. I think he's going to take this one. Yeah, he's going to kill the last Devourer. And that's going to be his. Very one-sidedly his, in fact. Look at that. First time we've had Protoss win on this one and the previous one. Gypsy shows the way. Let's see if Cross can double that up as well. Okay, immediately he's taking out some of the carriers. I don't think that's right. They have such high armor. I think you actually want to focus on the Corsairs. Yeah, Gypsy knows he has screwed that one up. All right, so these guys are like going opposite of what we saw in the other rounds. Like all the, all the, everything seems to be favored in the other direction, which is going to make this next round really interesting. Okay, this is uh, the last double round that we're going to see, right? Where they both play the side, and then we'll have the tiebreaker. So Cross needs to win both these if he wants to have a chance to advance in the bracket. It is doable. Okay, that's a really good one with an excellent storm as well. Some of the lings actually get on top over here. We saw the broodling as well. Dark Storm goes down, but the storm on top of it... Another Dark Storm in the middle. He's got to pull those goons back. The goons aren't doing anything right now except getting massacred. Some very good storms, of course, but Cross is fighting. The like, goons don't hit anything under here. you got to pull them back. Okay, throws down in snares. And you know what? He actually, he has another, another Maelstrom. He has another Maelstrom that he can use. He can Maelstrom these and run away. Oh my god, he's going to lose because he's not using his Maelstrom. He's taking so much damage because he's ensnared underneath. Well, actually, he can just... The Ling is the only thing dealing damage, right? So, okay, attack, attack! Maelstrom! Maelstrom! There we go. Okay, pull him back, pull him back. Yeah, it's three Hydras. It's three Hydras, like... Ha <laughs> <laughs> You almost had enough for Batman or Dark Storm there. It's hilarious. Okay. Now, if Cross can win this one, it all comes down to that last round. Oh, that's a really good one. That chokes up all the Hydras with that Maelstrom. Great storm goes down. Oh my god, these storms are insanity. It's got to pull back from here, though. The goons just sitting there taking the damage under the Dark Storm is not it. All right, no more energy left there. And that looks like a pretty convincing victory there for Gypsy. The Maelstrom here, I think, was just insane. All right, and that means that Gypsy has secured the victory, but we do have this last round. <laughs> Love that the Dark Storm remains. Okay, Let's see the storms. Oh, that storm gets the High Templar, so only one storm there for Gypsy. Definitely a little bit painful, but he actually gets his zealots forward on top of the goons, which is helpful. I think Cross just takes it, right? Yeah.
All right, so that's going to be another very close one from these two with very different round outcomes than the other guys. And that is a GG. That is 11 to 10 with Gypsy taking it. All right. So Gypsy vs. Jayun, Dragon vs. Whip.